Welcome back to another Never Broken Auto video. Um, continuing on with the Drift Miata, the stock one at least. Um, I'm gonna make this block look nice and pretty. Uh, on my last one, I felt like I wanted to paint it, but I just decided not to, or I just didn't end up doing so. So with this one, since it's pretty gross and I don't like how it looks, so I'm gonna paint it. I don't know what I'm gonna paint it yet. Maybe like, I don't know, gloss black or gray or something that'll show oil leaks better. Um, I don't know, but definitely about to clean it up. As you can see, I've just taped off the, the block deck. I'm gonna score these edges, cut off all the edges here. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna tape off the front water neck. And then I'll probably tape off some of the bottom stuff too. Um, but, yo. Since I wanna paint the whole block and this crank needs to come out anyways, um, I pulled off the rear main and the oil pump. I was gonna say front oil pump, but the only oil pump on the car. Um, so that was 12s on the oil pump and then 10 millimeters for the rear main. Um, that just pulled right off. Oil pump is there. Rear main, I just set down right there. Um, but now I'm gonna pull off the main caps. Um, these are 14, so I'm gonna blast these off. And then the crank will be able to come out uh, as well as the, the pistons and rods. not smell good at all. Ooh, that shit stink. <laughs> all right, this smells horrible, but I just gave them all each a little tap and they come loose. That's number one. Number two, I wish you guys could smell this, bro. It's just like stinky. Oh, bro, I don't even know. This is just not it. I am not. I am not fucking with this. Bearings are still in there too. Yeah, these all. These all did a number. Now the crank can come out. The pistons might drop. Um, but. It should be fine. Oh, all right, one sec. All right, so the crank has come right up and out now. The bearings and rods are probably all going to fall out. That was a crank right there. Oh, I need to wash my hands. This shit stinks. I just wiped all these bearings. I accidentally just pushed one of these thrust bearings out, or thrust washers out on accident. Um, but I'm just gonna try and leave the pistons and rods in. Don't really want to mess with them. Um, but I don't want them to fall out, which I'm sure they might well i'd have to take out the oil squirters and shit first um they'll just slide down if anything so i think we'll be good i'm just gonna leave them in here tape off everything and then i'm gonna power wash it and paint the bitch after got all that shit off taped her up everywhere top back everywhere basically except for the sides i power washed it i put on some nice ass degreaser and i got most of the stuff off i just gotta scrape off this gunk 
Um, but I'm probably gonna tape up this whole oil filter cooler. Um, and then I'll just fucking spray everything else. I'm thinking I'm gonna do a silver. And then it'll kind of be nice to the block. Like it'll be, I don't know. I gotta look at the head real quick. Cause the head is semi-silver. So if it matches, that'd be sick. Like this is all pretty shiny over here. True. So something like that possibly. And then maybe just like wrinkle black on the top. All right, so the next morning I've got everything taped up. I filled all the holes. I got half of the engine stand semi-covered. Um, but I have decided on this silver, flaky silver. Kind of matches the head the best. So I'm gonna do this, I've gone through. I've alcoholed the block and all the stuff, all the stuff. And uh, just shaking this up and I'm gonna get a nice, pretty thick coat on there and see how she do. Alright, this shit is so sparkly, I didn't realize it's gonna be like this, but fuck it. <laughs> that looks fucking crazy. This is looking real good, to be honest with you. I like that. That was basically just like one coat. Probably just leave it here now for the rest of the day. I don't really have... I bought two cans, and I'm definitely barely going to need one. Um, but I'm probably only going to do like that, that much of a coat, to be honest with you. But if I do see some missed spots like that, and just come back on it Woo! straight to my eyeballs um, but yeah I like how this looks it's a bit later but this is probably gonna be done I may do another coat tomorrow but before I left to go golfing <laughs> what up Coco uh, I taped up this lower intake manifold and I'm gonna do the same thing for this on the lower manifold the upper stuff will be um, wrinkle black. Sorry, I'm spacing this out. All right, Coco, you gotta go away because this is uh, not good for you to inhale. Let's go, come on. All right, this thing likes to spin a lot, so I'm gonna try and get as much good coverage as I can on this. Still dirt and shit, but. I get this side. And I got the manifold looking nice. Looking nice. It's just gonna sit back here and spin, do its thing. <laughs> but it looks good. Fire. This is what I'm using, by the way. Engine enamel. So, good on everything high temp. I totally forget to film things, which my fault, but me and Coco are outside. It's Friday. We're just chilling. Um, but I taped off this intake manifold, or upper intake manifold, I should say. And this is where the two-tone split is going to be happening. Um, so, as you guys saw, I sprayed the lower half. That silver... Um, but for this one, I got some wrinkle black. So we're gonna spray this one. You gotta spray it in a few different ways. You gotta spray it horizontally, vertically, and then diagonally. And then you can use a heat gun to um, basically make the 
wrinkle action or whatever you call it faster you can see it wrinkle quicker but i'm gonna go get this painted or hooked up for paint and then we'll get going i went and grabbed the manifold before i paint the upper but i wanted to like kind of like mock it up i don't know <laughs> i'm just kind of holding it where it might be but like the colors just look really good they look a lot better than what they did maybe i should have took some before and after photos but it's whatever these look really good though got it all hung up on my nice my paint booth uh, so with this you have to hit it in three ways like i said um first i'm gonna go basically this way across the top horizontally and then i'll go this way and then i'll go like uh crisscross diagonal or whatever um but just make sure you get all this covered and it should look good i'm probably gonna hit this side first because this is the side you see the most at least from the engine bay so i'm gonna get this going Next is this way. I just gotta stop it from spinning a little bit on my string. All right, last coat. It's been like, I don't know, six, seven minutes since I sprayed this one. So last coat is diagonal now. So I'm just gonna go like, And then try, oh shit, follow that pattern on this side. Like on this side. Alright, this is gonna look fire. Just gotta let it sit. I'm gonna give it like five minutes or so, and then I'm gonna pull the heat gun around here and just give it a little bit of heat. And then that's gonna make the wrinkling effect happen way faster. Um, hopefully, you guys will be able to see it on the camera, but simple things go a long way. This is gonna look sick been about like an hour since i've sprayed the last coat and this looks baller wrinkle black is just nice and simple and it looks good so uh i'm honestly just gonna let it sit here until i leave to go camping today um but that is gonna look so good with that silver Just from a spray can. I've had that spray can for, I don't know, maybe like two months or so. I'm pretty sure I used it to spray something else. Oh, I used it on my valve cover actually. Um, so it's gonna do that piece, the valve cover, and I'm actually gonna do the throttle body. Uh, I gotta mask this one up. So I gotta mask up like this little dial piece where it opens and closes the throttle body. I'm gonna mask up the back face of this all these coolant hoses, this bottom port um, for the IC, and yeah. Then I'll spray it gloss, or not gloss black, wrinkle black, just so it matches everything else. And uh, yeah, I'm hyped. Me and the boys are going camping though. We're about to go rock climbing. I just went and grabbed myself some, some shoes. I haven't really like outdoor rock climbed until like two weeks ago, but it's like the most adrenaline I've ever gotten from something that wasn't like drifting cars or something illegal, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, it was cool. So we're doing a little like overnight trip. We're gonna go camping and uh, rock climbing all in one. But I don't know if I'll film any of that, but I might, but I'm still gonna continue with this video and hopefully start filming another one with this guy. Cause Honestly, the head gasket took a shit again. So I now have to pull the head for the second time within like three months. I just did it in July. Um, uh, so not really three months, but still faster than I should have. And I think I have the issue down to a small selection. Um, it could be a few things, but I think 
the head gasket and dial smaller dial pins will fix the leaking issue but i'm gonna get that replaced so i'm gonna get another video going on that one and hopefully i can start assembling this soon i actually have to go pick up my crank today so i'm gonna go do that after this um but this is gonna look so sick all right i'm masking this up and i don't know i was just thinking about i don't know i didn't really want to like sit here and cut this so a little quick tip get a file and just shave off the edges of the tape not like what i just did right there and poked a hole in it but shave off the edges and they'll just come off pretty clean Shoo. i'm just gonna put a little piece back over that hole though <laughs> got this all masked up i'm gonna hang it back on my paint booth here and get to wrinkling on it um just again do three coats horizontal diagonal or vertical then diagonal um but yeah i'm gonna spray it um uh, yep yeah. been a bit but took it off my paint booth cleaned up the paint booth i'm just letting this sit out here taking on the wrinkle effect in the sun gonna look sick Yeah, that looks baller. All right, let me grab this. Gotta pick up some dog shit, and then I'm gonna be leaving. Um, I oh, actually, I gotta go pick up my crank. I'm gonna go pick up my crank right now. So, got this here, this there, this there. Oh, dude, this is gonna look so good. I'm just picturing it in my fucking head. And before I leave, this is just what everything's looking like, kind of all together with the white unfortunately i'm still gonna have a red engine bay but it's all gonna it'll look good i'm not worried i may i might paint the bay with some rattle cans but shit i don't know um but either way these look good the, the throttle body looks to have a little more wrinkle than the than the upper intake manifold but it's whatever i ain't really worried looks sick so I'm gonna go grab this crank now, but I'm heading out to go camping. Um, I'll probably throw some clips in. Maybe, maybe you guys will enjoy it, I don't know, but I will see you guys <coughs> when I get back. Just grabbed the crank. She's all polished, nice and clean. SNS Machine Shop is the place. I've gotten all my machine work done here. And their turnaround times are actually insane. Todd is the man. Um, it's Todd and one other worker who does all the valves, trains, heads, and things like that. And then um, Todd does all the block work and stuff. But the turnaround time is kind of crazy. Uh, he normally says two to three days and he'll hit you back up the, the next day. Um, but seriously, if you guys need any work for Mazda engines, LS engines, basically any engine, come to SNS Machine in uh, downtown Mesa, and they'll get you right. But, woo, got the crank. Hello? Show me them gloves, my boy. <laughs> it's like rain gloves. <laughs> Bro, it's literally like, they're not even rain gloves, but them bitches actually work pretty well. But I, I'm sure you guys can't see where we are, but, uh, hey, Chad, look down real quick. Look down, you got a bright ass light. Uh, bro, yeah, this phone does not pick it up, but that is a fucking, like, a 60 foot straight down drop. It do go down. It do go down. It go do really far down. Um, but, yeah, we better do some rock climbing shit. I don't know if y'all can see me. We out here vibing. Doing some night climbing. Got my shoes right here. Testing them out earlier. Whew. Oh yeah. <laughs> Call of Duty vibes out here. Got my boy Luke climbing up for his first time. And it's at night. Check it 
house down there, Belaine. Yo, we got a channel. We just vibing. Oh, y'all didn't see that. I think YouTube Lego. Good morning. Having some. Dude, it's dead. I have a charger. But, uh, yeah, we'll be chilling. Waking up from camping. I'm tired. <laughs> It was a fun weekend and we're back and we're gonna start working back on this stuff for a little bit I'm gonna get this stuff unmasked. I'm gonna get the intake manifold put together at least the upper and the lower I'll probably put the throttle body back on too um, And I got to start making a list of like what gaskets I have and don't have um, I also got to order some main rod and thrust bearings so I can get the crank back in and get this all sorted and tightened back down, get the rods connected again and get this thing back up and running. I would like to have this done and I don't know, I suppose to have it done on the 13th on Friday, but time just adds up quickly. So I'm going to order all that stuff, get her back together and have this thing running again for the winter um also i gotta start working on this but uh, i gotta probably do a head gasket on this and figure some things out with it but it's all right um i'm pulling off this stuff now so i'm gonna go like and i flipped it over and took off all the tape i just gotta pull off on the oil filter stuff but block looks sick i'm now just pulling off the tape on these other parts, I'm doing the lower manifold right now, so I'm just gonna pull these off and get the upper manifold back on with the gasket, torque it down, and then I don't really have to do much except put some uh, random little vacuum lines and stuff on. So I'm gonna pull this tape off, get those vacuum lines on, and assemble this. A little satisfying pull. Oops, guess not. Ooh. Got this one ready to go on. Got this little like diaphragm for the valves or the flaps in the manifold. Um, I've replaced a few of these vacuum lines because they're old and cracked. But that's all there now. And I'm gonna set this back on there with the new uh, gasket. Bolt this together and then get the rest of the throttle body and stuff back on. So, one sec. All right, hold on. I just had to pull out this tray of bolts for the motor to find the bolts for the upper intake manifold. But here is the gasket. So that'll go this way you want to have this down here so let's go there and that'll go there boom like that and then this will just pop right onto those dowel pins and complete the look if i can even get it on the dowel pins oh that's why took me a second but it's on gotta grab these bolts long ones are for the inside got three of those and then i got three smaller ones someone's flying Other two go in here and there, and then these three. Dude, I cannot function. Three, three go there, there, and there. 
Now the tape for the throttle body comes off slowly but surely. And then I'm gonna toss this on there with, I think I have a new gasket for it, but we will see. Um, hopefully I do, cause I don't wanna order a new one. I'm out here unwrapping this shit. I hear my boy Lucas flying by. Jesus. Finally got this all unwrapped and found the gasket. Oh yeah, that looks sick. This has a little more wrinkling than like back here, but fuck it, it looks sick to me. And that is the intake manifold right there. All together, nice and fresh. This is gonna look so baller in the car. Nice and simple, nice and simple. Oh, actually, I got one more piece to add and then the intake manifold will be done. Uh, I totally forgot about this. I painted this like an hour ago, so hopefully it's dry enough to go back on. It's just like a little, I don't know, piece that goes on the back of the manifold. Oh yeah, she's Gucci. Let's go like this. Cause it's gonna face that way. Sick. All right, this goes right back here like this. So I'm gonna pop that in there real quick. And now the intake manifold is done. And this is what it will look like in the car. Nice and neat. I love how this looks so far. It's gonna look, it's gonna look proper once it's actually back in the car. But I am going to end the video off here, uh, just because I can't really move forward with the block until I get the bearings and stuff like that. Um, I gotta get this crank in and do all that stuff first before I can slap the, the head and things back on and get the rest of the motor built. Um, I'm gonna get going on that. I'm gonna make a list of what I need, what I have, and uh, get ordering on that. Get it together. Um, but either way, I appreciate you guys watching the videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.